Hi, everybody. All right, there I am back by the fridge, dumping dry ice into a plastic bucket filled with rubbing alcohol. That is going to get ultra, ultra cold, and we're going to use that to chill out the wing bolts because we are attaching the wings today. We're going to do something a little bit different and fun. So I got a whole cadre of my buddies out here. Uh, Colin from across the ramp came over to help. I'm glad he was there. He's he's done this many times. Uh, my buddy Paul flew his RV7 down from the North Bay. David from the club was here, and Shannon, who used to be in the club, who's uh, lives in Petaluma now, she she flew over in her beautiful Cherokee. So it's quite. A, I mean, it's not you know it's not terribly difficult. It's just nerve wracking because if it doesn't fit, you freak out. Uh, in fact, you know, in the bottom left-hand corner here, here is a picture of the top of the bolts. Each wing gets eight bolts, four three-eighths inch, four nine-sixteenths inch. And I will say this, when I was putting the two spar, uh, spar pieces together in the fuselage uh, that make up the wing box, I did it, and I riveted everything down while I had three-eighths inch bolts running through it to align it, and I'm really glad I did. So what you'll do is you'll start off by making a couple of drift pins out of hardware store style 3 8 inch bolts to sort of help, you know, the, you sand them off a little bit so they easily go into the hole. They hold the wing in place. With the wing in place, you can then hammer in the big bolts, attach those, take the drift pins out, and then put the real 3 8 inch bolts in. And then attach the rear spar, and you're done, right? How simple does that sound? My buddy Paul's here to watch the festivities, and it went pretty damn smooth. Now, the rubbing alcohol cooling solution, right, the, you know, the idea behind it is as, uh, as items get colder, especially metal, right, they shrink. Well, you know, they really don't shrink that much. You know, even in the cold temperature of, of the solution that I was using, it would probably shrink it less than a thousandth of an inch. Right, but when you're talking about the to high tolerance bolts that we're talking about here, you know, any any little bit helps. And I will say, a couple of those bolts went in uh, not very easily, and a couple went in extremely smoothly. So if that helped out, great. Quick warning about that though: rubbing alcohol and dry ice is very dangerous, especially because I was using 90% rubbing alcohol, right? And it's dangerous because it'll stick to your skin immediately, and it is very very cold. The freezing point of ethanol, you know, it's somewhere around 112, minus 112C, but dry ice is at minus 80, so that ethanol in there is at minus 80, and that is very cold, and that can do damage if you're not careful, so be very careful if you use that solution, <clears throat> but yeah, so if it helped, great. Uh, right before, of course, inserting any of the bolts, we would hit the inside of the holes with a little spray of some LPS3, LPS3 is the one that has the anti-corrosive properties that you want. Hammer the bolts in and then torque them on later. So uh, The only real pain point was the rear uh, spar attach points. They had to hit a little bit of... Uh, they had to be coerced, but they went right in. But yeah, wings are on. How about that? Isn't that sweet? Of course, I was so stupid. I always kept thinking, you know, are we going to have to have someone hold down the other side? Like, if we put the left wing on, is the whole thing going to come crashing to the ground? On the... <laughs> no, it doesn't, obviously. How stupid must I be to think that? <laughs> Don't answer that. All right, and that's it. I mean, I mean, how, how awesome is that? Wings are on. Everything is good. So in the next video, so we're going to have many wing attached videos because now that the wings are on, you got to do all the wiring, got to do the uh, fuel lines, got to do the skin connector bits, etc., etc. Time to rig everything, so get ready for a lot of wing work soon. Anyway, I uh, hope everyone's having a happy Monday. I'm just let this all trail on out. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.